Hello, I'm JW. Now, a few days ago, I did that video on those Vena timers, uh, various different ones, and uh, one of the comments that was posted on that one was from Brian Whittle, who asked uh, how much power these things might actually use, and some suggestions were it would only be a very small amount, and uh, probably only a few watts. So uh, let's actually find out. And we've got on the table here a whole selection of various different things, including those Venno timers we saw before, and various other things as well. So uh, let's see how much power these things do actually use, and how much that would like to cost you over the course of a year. Now I've got various things here to uh, test, and in the background there we've got an electric clock. That's an old uh, British Telecom logo in the middle there. And at the front here we've got a Horseman time switch, and that's actually been featured in a video some time ago. And uh, at the back there we've got that uh, Vena auto point thing, and also that uh, separate uh, Vena timer as well, which we had a look at. That's the one with the uh, yearly or month parts in it, so you can adjust the different times according to the time of the year. And of course, uh, turn the lights on and off when it gets dark. And uh, over this side uh, we've got a couple of other clocks there. Uh, the clock at the front there is that Smith Cetric one, and again that's been in uh, a video before. And the one at the back there is actually a Gent of Leicester variety, and again that's a uh, mains powered version as well. So uh, quite a selection of different things there. And uh, in the centre here we've actually got the uh, testing thing, and this has also been in a video previously. And uh, as you see I've set it up there so that it uh, measures for 24 hours a day, it's just at the very bottom edge of the display there. And I put in a price uh, of 11 pence per kilowatt hour, which is a fairly reasonable cost it would pay in the UK at the moment. So uh, when we plug the things in, this will show the power at the top left there. Of course, currently showing zero. The power factor at the top right. The uh, voltage there is the U, which is kind of about 245 at the moment. And the uh, AC there is the actual kilowatt hours per year that the device would actually use. And uh, BL underneath there is the actual cost per year. And that's based obviously on the uh, power it's using and the fact it would be at 11 pence per kilowatt hour. Uh, the current would actually be displayed on the I section there, but uh, for most of these it's actually far too low to actually register, so that won't be applicable. And the E at the bottom is the total accumulated uh, kilowatt hours, so that's not applicable either. It's just showing a small amount there as I've been uh, testing some of these before. And again, the top at the bottom, which says 1 hour 36, is just how long this device has been turned on for. Now, in terms of the connections for this, I've just got this white uh, extension lead here just plugged in the back of the energy monitor, and that just comes over to this uh, bar here at the front, so it's just more convenient to plug the various things in without sort of grovelling around the back. And uh, notice this, and it's not got a neon indicator on it, because of course if it did, we'd actually be measuring the power of the neon indicator on the device, which there was only a small amount, we're only measuring small amounts anyhow, so of course that would be uh, fairly significant in terms of the total amount consumed. So it's just a normal one. And then we've got all the devices with the various plugs on, so we can just plug those in and uh, see how much power they actually use. Now, because it's going to be uh, impossible to see the display and all this stuff at the same time, what we've got here is the uh, device here, which is on the other camera. So that's just showing the actual readings on the front there. And here are all the various devices. So uh, let's uh, make a start then. So let's start with the uh, Vena Auto Point over the back here. And so that's the one that's mounted on this uh, socket piece. So uh, if we uh, plug in there, and uh, we can see there we've got a power of uh, about 1.93 watts. And uh, power factor is about 0.5, which you would expect because this is a uh, motor, so it's going to be uh, fairly poor. And that will be pretty much the same for all of them. Uh, voltage about 245, and uh, power drawing there, say 1.93, so just under 2 watts. And that would cost you in the region of £1.86 per year. And so that's not actually too bad, so sort of a couple of watts, and say so annual usage there will be just under 17 kilowatt hours per year. And let's just try the other Vena here. So that one's actually slightly more, so it's just over 2 watts. And again, it's going to cost around uh, £1.97 per year, or a couple of pounds a year. And notice on the uh, readings here that uh, 1 watt basically equates to approximately one pound per year in electricity costs. So here we've got, say, just over two watts, and that's around two pounds per year. So both of N is around two watts each, and this one being slightly more than the one in the plastic case there. So let's get rid of that one. And now let's try the uh, Horstman one here. 
and this has been in another video before, it's basically the metal cased one, and it's one that's got that mercury switch inside, although of course that's not going to be in use in the moment, it's just going to be the motor itself. So uh, again we'll just plug that one in. So again that's uh, around the 2 watt marker though, this is a bit more than the two Venners there, this is about 2.3 watts, so again that's going to cost around £2.30 per year, or about 20 or just under 21 kilowatt hours. So remove that. Now let's have a look at some of these clocks. So this particular one here is a uh, fairly moderate one, I think this is early 1980s, the old uh, British Telecom logo on the top there, so uh, I'll just get the wire for that one. So see they're just over 1 watt, so sort of 1.03, and again it's going to cost around a pound a year to operate. And of course that's not too bad, but uh, bearing in mind if you've had a modern clock it would probably use one of those AA batteries in there, which is going to last for at least a year, and of course a uh, yeah, AA battery is significantly cheaper than a pound each, that's a gold plated or something, so uh, say about a pound a year to run that particular one. And now let's have a look at the uh, Gent one here, this is a metal cased one, and again it's uh, on the back it's very similar to the others, it's just the uh, central uh, motor unit in the middle there, and it's also one of these you have to actually uh, turn and then release the clicky knob there to actually get it going. I have actually tested these before, and uh, if the motor's not actually running it doesn't actually affect the uh, power consumption at all, so the fact it might not actually start automatically isn't a particular issue. So let's uh, plug uh, that one in. So that's quite a bit more than the uh, British Telecom one over here, so that's just under 1.5 watts, so sort of 1.48, so 13 kilowatt hours a year, and around £1.43 cost in actual money terms. And uh, finally then we've got this one, which is the uh, Stectric one, if we've done a video on this before showing it completely dismantled and whatever, and uh, again this is one you have to uh, tamper with the knob, but uh, it doesn't actually particularly matter of the usage whether it's uh, stalled or not. So that's sort of between the other two there, so about 1.37 watts, so uh, 12 units of electricity per year, and a cost of about £1.33. Now this isn't actually running, but uh, if, we, uh, if we get the thing to go, so it's running there, and you see it doesn't actually affect the uh, power at all, it's still that 1.37 watts there, so no real differences with that. So look there, a few of the uh, power usages, and uh, as expected they are fairly low, so in this sort of 1 or 2 watt range. And that's pretty much a good thing because bearing in mind these things would be running permanently 24 hours a day, and if you had any kind of significant number of them, such as a load of street lamps or something, if they were using moderate amounts of power, that could add up to a huge bill fairly quickly. So until next time, thanks for watching.